All right, two problems in this video. The first one is going to be a pseudo work problem. It's actually a projection problem. And the other problem then we're actually going to do a work problem, which is what I promised in the three step plan. I think I laid out in the first video. And so this first problem then is I want to find the force W required to make the component of the force parallel to the inclined plane equal to 2.5 pounds. So first of all, I apologize for my crap handwriting. If you guys can't tell already. And secondly, uh, let's figure out what the hell this guy is actually, what, what we're trying to find. So, okay, the force W is actually a vector W. So we're trying to find this vector W such that when I pull along this object, this green object here lying on the inclined plane, uh, so if I pull it along the inclined plane, then it'll go up the inclined plane, right, in this direction. Agreed, right? And essentially... I want the force uh, going in this direction to be 2.5 pounds. So, yeah, so I want the force of this object sliding up on this inclined plane to be 2.5 pounds. And so how do I find this? Well, so what if I just draw this here now, right? Perpendicular. Okay, so essentially, how can I do this? Well, you'll notice then that I would probably want to do some kind of projection, right? Because I have this vector that's parallel to the inclined plane, okay? And then I have this work vector pulling on it. Well, if I want to see what the force is on the parallel line to the inclined plane, I should probably project my work vector down onto this parallel vector, all right? And so now let's call this parallel vector V. And so I want to project w onto v okay and if you remember what is this equal to this is equal to u dot v over magnitude of v squared times a vector v however it says that i want to see the component of the force parallel to be uh, parallel to the inclined plane to be equal to 2.5 pounds and so when you see the component of the force parallel it means the component of this guy right the scalar component of that guy. So it might make more sense then to write this as u dot v over the magnitude of v, or in our case, it's w times v, my bad, right? w dot v uh, over the magnitude of v times the unit vector v over uh, v over magnitude v. And why is that? Remember, this is the scalar component And this is uh, the direction, right, or the unit vector. So that's the direction. You can't read it, but no, that's what that is, okay? And so I need to find the scalar component. I need to set it equal to 2.5 pounds, right? So if I just take a look at this, I have u w dot v over magnitude v is equal to 2.5 pounds, but this doesn't tell me anything. I can't figure out for my, like, what in the world W is? I don't certainly don't know what V is right now. So what else can we do? Well, what is W dot V, right? W dot V is equal to, remember this, magnitude of W, magnitude of V, cosine theta over the magnitude of V. Well, magnitudes of V cancel, I'm left with, I'm left with W cosine theta, right? Okay, the magnitude of W cosine theta is equal to 2.5. How in the world can I figure this out? Well, I know what cosine theta is, right? Why do I know what cosine theta is? Cosine theta is the angle here. It's the angle between this parallel line and the blue line. That's W. And since I know W, right, over here, this is a 33, is 33 degrees from the ground. And V, the parallel line, the inclined plane is 15 degrees from the ground. I know this angle between them must be 18 degrees, right? 33 minus 15. So then the magnitude of W is actually equal to then 2.5 over cosine 18, all right? And so we're just gonna leave that as is. Okay, that's what the magnitude of W is. So now I need to figure out then, right? I wanna find the force W. So what is W? Well. W is equal to, then, the magnitude of W times a unit vector W, 
all right? And how can we find the unit vector w? Well, I know what angle w is from the ground, right? It's 33 degrees from the ground. And so that means if I let this guy, if I let w over magnitude of w be equal to cosine of 33 degrees, sine of 33 degrees, that's actually the unit vector, right? And how do I know that? Well, let's just consider this for a second. Cosine 33 degrees, right? Right, so if I'm in the xy plane, cosine 33 degrees will get me like here in the x direction, right? Because that's what this is. And then sine 33 degrees would get me, right, a little bit up like here, right? And then so this would be w. And then if I scale it by the magnitude of w, then I'll go, uh, so, so this cosine 33, sine 33 is w hat, right? It's the unit vector, w. And then the magnitude of w then scales it up. And how do I know cosine 33 degrees times sine 33 degrees uh, is magnitude one? Well, you'll realize then, um, wait, what's cosine 30, uh, what's the square root of cosine 33 squared plus sine 33 squared well, this is equal to the square root of cosine squared 33 plus sine squared 33. And do you guys remember in trig, cosine squared plus sine squared is equal to one, right? It doesn't matter what angle that is. So this is then equal to the square root of one, which is equal to one, okay? So that's why the magnitude of W uh, or W over the magnitude of W is gonna be cosine 33 sine 33, all right? Because that's the what direction we're pulling this in and then so W itself is going to be the magnitude of W times cosine 33, sine 33, which is equal to 2.5 over cosine 18 degrees, uh, cosine 33, sine 33. And if you plug that into a calculator, this is going to be 2.205 comma 1.4. Okay, and so that's how you do this type of projection problem that's kind of disguised like a work problem. And this actually ran too long, so I'm going to actually use work then in a separate problem uh, in, in another video.